in your opinion, what would be the best field of study to become a puppeteer? Well, I can speak from my own experience. I started with, I had my first puppet when I was only three years old, and it was because I was extremely shy. So I was exploring things through the puppet that I would, might not feel comfortable doing myself or saying to yeah. other people. So it was my way of expressing myself. But I started dance when I was six years old. I was interested in dance as well. So, and I loved performing, but the performing had to be on the terms that were comfortable for me, which meant yeah. that I had to be in the background. Mm. And perhaps that's kind of ideal for a puppeteer because every puppeteer must be a good actor, but not every actor is a good puppeteer because you have to be able to let go of your own ego in expressing everything through yourself and express all of your artistry through another body, so to speak, through another character. And so that's a whole different thing. And sometimes when actors get on stage, they won't let go of their own ego. So yeah. they overpower the puppet, especially if they're in plain view, which is, happens a lot with puppetry now on in theater. Uh, the puppeteer yeah. is frequently visible. So if the puppeteer doesn't know how to project everything through that other character, then he will take over very quickly and, and upstage his puppet. Yeah. And of course, a really good puppeteer can upstage everything else on stage because it's like never work with children or animals, is the old proverb as an actor. And puppets can very well take over things because they, they become so uh, dynamic in, because they're symbolic as well. Puppets yeah. can do things that human actors wouldn't dare to do and, and couldn't do physically sometimes. Yeah. So the puppet can pull in the attention so easily. Yes. And my experience has been working with animals a lot and a little dog specifically. That's my most famous one, Taffy. And when she appeared in theater productions, I had to be really careful with her, keep her very quiet and subtle because otherwise she would pull focus when she wasn't supposed to. <laughs> totally. I have this in common. I have play a dog also. And I yeah. know that it's attracting attention. But it's so important for puppeteers to realize that this first and foremost is a theatrical art form. So when you want to uh, find a track to become a puppeteer, it's really good to do anything that a normal actor would do to enter the theater. And it might include many other things. You might study mime. You would study stage movement. You would, you would study singing. You would study voice in general and, uh, and acting and understand all of those parts because they all come into play when you're a puppeteer. You have to use everything. Yes, yes, that's so true. You have to use all your talent and put it on, on stage. Thank you.